Now, from the Super Doppler 10 Weather Center, this is a severe weather alert. And we do just want to break into programming very quickly to let you know what's going on with Tropical Storm Elsa right now as it continues to push northward across the region. We're still dealing with widespread, a few heavy downpours within that, but for the most part, it's very light to moderate rainfall, just very steady across much of the region. So here's what we're looking at. The center of the storm is still just north of Raleigh at this point, and that's where we're seeing the heaviest bands. But because of the rotation on this storm, there has been a few quick spin ups, and there's one just off to the south of our area. This is in Hyde County, North Carolina, a tornado warning and going until 315. Uh, so as this storm continues to lift northward, I can't rule out that it could move into parts of our region. So we would be talking about uh, maybe Currituck or Camden County, Perquimans as it lifts northward and there's still going to be some heavier downpours moving up from the south that could potentially move into our area. Uh, so we'll be watching for that potential for any tornadoes moving through. For the most part, though, we're looking at widespread rain across much of the region. A few heavy downpours, a few pockets of rain within there that are a lot heavier. There was, was just some heavy rain really across much of the uh, ocean front at the Virginia Beach area, but other than that, pretty much widespread light to moderate rainfall across the south side and into the peninsula, middle peninsula, northern neck and the eastern shore. For the entire region, though, they have extended this as about an hour ago, a, a tornado watch that goes until 11 o'clock tonight. Quick spin ups will be possible and gusty within, winds within some of these storms as well. So taking a look at future track, what are we going to see as this storm continues to lift northward? I think some really heavy bands of rain, especially just in time for the evening commute home. And then as we go into about 6, 7 o'clock tonight, still across much of the south side, some really, really heavy rain. And then it lifts off to the north fairly quickly. I think by about 10, 11 o'clock, maybe midnight, most of the rain is across parts of the eastern shore and then headed out to the sea from there. The heaviest of the rain will be across parts of I-95. And then the closer to the coast that you go, I think we'll have some lower totals there, but still those pockets of heavy rain. So we'll have more on how much rain we've already seen, what's still to come, the track of that, and really the entire forecast through the next week. That's all starting at 4 o'clock. So if we need to cut in for any tornado warnings, we will do that within the next hour. Otherwise, we will see you starting at 4 o'clock on Wavy TV 10.